back to The Late Show. Folks, my first guest tonight is an Academy Award-winning actress and two-time Grammy Award-winning singer you know from Dreamgirls and The Color Purple. She now stars in Cats. Please welcome Jennifer Hudson. Be a stranger. Wow. The people in the Ed Sullivan love Jennifer Hudson. Thank you. That's nice. <laughs> that, is, I, that is an absolutely beautiful dress. You like it? I love the sparkle blue. That's oh, very sure. nice. Holiday festa. Thank now, you. Now, uh, obviously, people are always excited to see Jennifer Hudson, but people have gotten very excited because you have been spotted portraying a new role. I, I cannot wait for this. Um, you are now going to be portraying Aretha Franklin for the biopic. <laughs> Respect. Yes. That's extraordinary. And is it true, I heard, that Aretha Franklin personally picked you yes. to portray her while she was still with us? Yes. Which is yes. mind blowing. That is. It what is. was that phone call like? Did you talk to her about it? Oh, yeah. First of all, we had our first meeting about 15 years ago, right after I won my Oscar for Dream Girls. We had a meeting here in New York. And then she made her final decision while I was on Color Purple. And she called me, I've made my decision. It is going to be you playing me. I said, Yes, ma'am. And she said, Don't say anything. I said, oh, I won't say anything. Whatever you say, don't do. I'm not going to do. And we've been talking about it for a long time now. And it's actually manifesting now. Um, you, you, you spent some time with Aretha mm -hmm. uh, toward the end of her life. I yes. have a, a photograph here of... Actually, we've got two photo. of them here, of course. This is That's classic nice. Aretha there. And then this is the two of you. I understand you love this photograph. I lo it's my favorite photo. Tell me what's going on here. Here I am doing a tribute. I did many tributes to her. Um, at the BET, I believe it was honors. And it was supposed to be a surprise. And we're in rehearsal. At, at the venue, and Aretha shouldn't, did, shouldn't have known anything about it, and all of a sudden, she burst inside of the rehearsal space. And everybody stops like, <laughs> okay, Aretha's here, what do we do? We couldn't sing anything. Anyway, she sat down and she talked to me for a long time, and then she made like she was leaving. And they was like, she's outside of the door, listening. <laughs> <laughs> she's not dumb. <laughs> yeah, so she popped up on us and sat in the middle. When does Aretha pop up in your rehearsal? Very rarely around here, right? I gotta say. And so the piano, rarely. too. I don't think I, I could like... play her. Now, <laughs> uh, uh, people, of course, are always uh, also excited about the uh, release of Cats on Friday. Cats is coming. Uh, <laughs> this is a musical a long time coming. People have been trying to do a Cats musical forever. Wow. We just have the technology now to actually turn people into cats. Yes. That's what we were waiting for. We're now of course, cats. the great Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. <laughs> now, uh, here you are. Again, this is all done with CGI. You are, what's your character's name? Grisabella the Glamour Cat. Grisabella the Glamour Cat, okay. I asked your co-star Idris Elba when he was on here. Uh -huh. I asked him a question I'd like to ask you. What's that? Can you explain the plot <laughs> of Cats? Okay. What happens? So basically, you know how cats get a ninth life. So they have a ball once a year, and only one cat get that ninth life. So they get to display their talent or whatever that is, and then try to earn the ninth life. And what happens to the other cats? They all die? Well, they just have to wait their turn to next year to try to get the ninth life, <laughs> I okay. guess. So, okay, that, that is the best explanation Did of I what happens good? in cats. I don't know if it's right, but it's... It's right! I Watch no, the movie, I you'll see. You. I trust you. I trust you. I just have never... The, what is now? What is a what is a jellical no, cat? No, I can't answer that. What is a jellical cat? They keep on talking about the jellical, jellical cat. Cats. What is get the soundtrack of the tape. So each song that we sing explains all of that. Okay. So you get the soundtrack. No, I've and you heard get the your songs. ticket to the movie, and you go see the movie, and it's gonna tell you everything all y'all need to know. <laughs> <laughs> It just said that you had that everybody had to go to cat school. Yes. Did, did you go to cat school? Yes, to be a cat. Yeah, you have to go to cat school. 
You know, it's not the first time you've been to school, right? You had to go to Diva School for Dream Girls? Diva School for Dream Girls. I felt I had a book bag on my back, and I felt like I was going to class every day. And then fast forward 15 ye late, years later, and now I'm a cat, and I'm in cat school. What's and cat I'm school? crawling on the floor. Well, we had to crawl. Um, no. We got to learn cats, you know, like mannerisms and their ways. And then I got to learn how to, come on, sniff around with me like a cat. Because you leave with your nose or your ears, because we leave with our eyes. Well, sure. they follow their senses, their, their nose, yes. the smell, right? Yeah. So, let me see what's in your cup. <laughs> I don't smell nothing, but... It's water. <laughs> and it helps you be like a cat! <laughs> Try it! <laughs> or your ears. Mm -hmm. And then you, you, uh, you have cats of your own. I do. Okay. Who are they, who, tell me Ooh, who's okay. in this, this photo here, because there's a lot of animals in this photo. I have five pets. I have my own little zoo at home. So we have from the Dream Girls era, Oscar, Grammy, and Dream Girl, which are the dogs. They're the dogs. And then there is Grizabella and McCavity. So for cats era. Okay. So I have five pets. Now, do you think you understand your cats more now than you have been a cat? Yes. Because, <laughs> because I had cats growing up, and I didn't know much about them. But at the cat school, I'm like, oh, I get cats more now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we kind of, you know, but they just sleep all day. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. I get that a lot. What, now, it's a lot of it's done with, like, green screen and digital effects yep. and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you've got, you've got all the technology involved in it where, like, everything's done in front of a green screen and then you're being turned into cats digitally, you know, so you really look like hum half human, half cat. Mm -hmm. And there's music going on at the same time. Yeah, we're singing live. Yeah. And I think, we think we have a, I believe we have a clip of the film right here. Jim? Okay. Is that Idris or is that Ian McKellen? I'm not I sure who that was. I don't know that cat. Okay. <laughs> now, um, you're clearly you're clearly in the holiday spirit. Obviously, the oh blue sparkles God. takes us there. But I, I you recently uh, you posted some photos of your. You have more than one Christmas tree. I have three Christmas. Trees. Three Christmas trees. Okay. Here is one of your Christmas trees, right there. Yes. Why is that a Christmas tree that really looks like a dress? Well, it's a diva's Christmas tree. So the bottom of it is the Christmas part of the tree. Oh, it's a diva's Christmas yes. tree. You really took diva school to heart. Uh, yes! But I'm a good diva, though. Okay. There's a good diva? Yeah, because, you know, diva didn't always have a good, uh, you know, a good title. So I always put good in front of my diva. Is it like, are you a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of. So what's what's the story behind this dress? So here? Can I'm you wear this? I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear this to my Christmas Starbucks Christmas karaoke party. It's being made into a dress. I'm sorry. Go back. What was that last sentence? A Starbucks Christmas karaoke up. party. So it used to be called the Ugly Sweater Starbucks Christmas Karaoke Party at Starbucks because Starbucks is like our everybody's living room away from home. So one year, about maybe five years ago, I came up with this big bright idea that I want to have like a Christmas party at Starbucks because you get the cookie the size of your face, hot chocolate, all the holiday treats Okay. and Starbucks. And then, is guess what? Is this like taking your kid to a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese? What is, <laughs> does Starbucks encourage this? Yes. I call them Mr. and Mrs. Starbucks. It's Howard and Sherry Swartz, but I call them Mr. and Mrs. Starbucks. So mm -hmm. look, a week after I came up with that idea, guess who called? Mr. and Mrs. Starbucks wanted me to come and sing for their Christmas party. And I did, and I said, you know what? All I want to do is have a Christmas karaoke party in a Starbucks with my fa family and friends, and then if the public want to come in and sing with us, they can. So this is, this is going to be the sixth year of it, and it's going to be at the Grand, the big one, the biggest Starbucks like in the world is in Chicago, my hometown city. Yes, yeah, like It got four floors, yeah. so I need to wear the Christmas tree dress. So what is, do you, what's your go-to when you're karaokeing uh, Christmas? What is your go-to song? What, do you, what is your favorite? My favorite is Oh Holy Night, and my cousin always makes me get up and sing it with her, even though we didn't rehearse it. So Oh That's Holy Night. That's one of my Night. favorites, too. Is oh Holy Night's amazing. The range you need, favorite. I don't have the range for Oh Holy Night, because yes, at the do. end, no, I don't. <laughs> oh Holy Night. There you go. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. You better sing. Come on here. Here we go. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the sun felt his word. Take 
it. Come on. Dramatic. Yes. Is it tomorrow, Jennifer Hudson, everybody? We'll be right back with John.